And then you come to Perth Oyer. Here, there's more than a grain of truth in a local claim to fame. Alice is on a mission to solve the riddle of the singing sands. If you believe its name, this beach isn't just heavenly to look at, it's also rather wonderful to listen to. It's called the whistling sands. It's not the wind that's whistling. Supposedly, it's the sand itself that squeaks. To get to the bottom of it, I'm joined by our acoustics expert, David Sharp, from the Open University, who'll be listening for the special music of this place. And coastal scientist Rod Jones, who'll be looking for the squeak in the sand. Listening to the sound of the beach can be a bit hit and miss. If it's been a very high tide or if it's rained, you'd be out of luck. But on a dry, sunny day like this, we should hear the squeak underfoot. Hello, David, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank Hello. you. Hello. <laughs> now, squeaking sand, I'm, I'm getting a tiny squeak as I'm walking along, but it's, it's very quiet. OK, well, just try scuffing your foot through quite hard and see what happens. Why don't we uh, walk along a little bit and see if okay. we can get that... Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a good one. This looks quite mad. That's it. That's brilliant. Yes, I'm getting that really nicely on the screen here. It's really squeaking. I've never heard that before on a beach. But we need more feet for the full effect. Quiet, please. We are recording the squeaky beach. Yes, come on. We'll make a line, I think. Um, what we probably need to try to do is get in step. David. Oh, it's only excellent. We've got a really good recording. And is this beach unique in making this sound? Well, it's not unique. There are around 30 beaches in the UK that will have these properties, but um, this is one of the better ones. There's a good chance you're close to a whistling beach, particularly on the west coast. But why aren't there more? What makes these beaches special? I'm with coastal scientist Rod Jones to find out what makes some sand sing. Now, what is it that makes the sand at a particular beach special? Why isn't all sand the same? Well, sand is affected by the energy of the environment where it sits. So you've got your waves coming in and that's sorting the sand and it's taking some grains and pulling them offshore and others it's be pushing to the top end of the beach. And you've also got a process of wind. So when the tide's out, these sands will dry and the wind will blow across them and it will blow the finer particles up to the top of the shore. Right. And the balance of wave energy, wind energy and the supply and grain size of the sediments that you've got at the back there will define what the particle size and characteristics are of the beach sediment. How the wind and waves sort the sand depends on the shape of a bay. We compared samples from two different beaches, from here at Whistling Sands and from Krukyeth nearby. Shall we try this sand first, which is from Krukyeth? If I just zoom in on it. So large grains and also quite a variety of different grain sizes as well. And, and shapes as well. Yeah. You can actually see little particles of slate there, as well as quartz and a, a lot of other things. It's a very varied sort of sand. OK, shall we have a look at this sand from Whistling Sands now? Let's just compare it with the last one and see just how different it is. Oh, that looks very different. It, it is, isn't it? It, it? The other one was much more varied in terms of grain size, whereas this one seems to be much more dominantly composed of quartz. And it's much more uniform Yes. in terms of size of grains. They're quite well-rounded, and that will mean that they'll stack well together. They've been sorted down. A lot of the, the coarser and the, and the finer fraction have been lost. So wind and waves here have sifted the sand into amazingly uniform, well-rounded particles. But how does that produce a squeak? David's come up with a super-sized model of the sand grains. David, what are you doing? OK, well, what we've got here is normal sand found on most beaches, not regular at all. And what we've got here is our singing sand, OK, with lots of 
grains of the same size and all very well rounded. When you kick your foot through the sand, you cause it to shear. Yeah? That means you cause, it to, you cause layers to rub across each other. Right. Different layers of sand grains. Now let's have a look, see what happens with the normal sand. And you can see that the grains just move up and down all at different times, different rates. With the singing sand, if you kick your foot through that, what happens is that the grains all move up and down at the oh, same all time. Together. Yeah. So why does that produce a squeak? Well, it's actually the, the whole layer moving up and down and the whole surface then acts a bit like a loudspeaker, vibrating and causing pressure changes in the air above, which we hear as sound. And not just any sound. David's had time to analyse the squeaks he recorded to see if the beach is as musical as its nickname, Whistling Sands, suggests. The interesting thing is the regularity at which we get these pressure changes. So we get these increases in pressure happening at very regular spacing, very regular intervals. Uh, and that's all caused by the sand vibrating up and down, just like we saw with the layers of balls. And that gives us this sort of pitched sound, like a musical note almost. We can actually demonstrate that. If you want to just try singing some notes into the microphone, we'll record that. OK. OK, here we go. Right, off we go. Uh, 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 uh. OK, that's brilliant. If we zoom in on one of those. And again, yes, you can see the regular pattern. You've got this regular um, repetition of these increases and decreases in air pressure, and it's this regular change that gives us a sense of pitch. Unlike May sand, this sand actually sings. It really does sing, yeah. Scientists are starting to explain the sound of the sands, but there remains a magical quality to this place that's hard to define. I love the fact that the singing sands are still something of a mystery, and it's a puzzle that's played out along the beaches of our coast in the sand under our feet.